Hello and welcome to the Swindon Town Swoodley Poopers FA Cup Hello, Adventures. The FA Cup, of course, the cup that the Swindon Town Swoodley Poopers first won way back in the halcyon days of League One. All right, and today we continue our march toward winning it again in our attempts to, in our final season, win all of the cups. So we've got to beat Wigan Athletic today, our former hated rivals, Wigan Athletic. Um, now down in the championship, we're up in the Premier League, so, you know, times have changed. We're starting Jesus Angel and D. McGoldrelocks. Uh, back in goal, we have, again, Fat Lucas. But, good news, we have acquired a new goalkeeper in the event that we need him. His name is Mark Anderson. He uh, invented the Netscape uh, web browser, and then he went on to become a very important CEO in Silicon Valley, and now he is the backup goalkeeper for the Swindon Town Swoodley Poopers. Um, best of all, he's only 31 oh, years old, there, thereby making him, at least by Fat Lucas' standards, extremely young. Um, so we want to leave, we want to make sure that we leave the FIFA 11 Swindon Town Swoodley Poopers with a bright future. Um, and, oh, D. McGoldrelar, who is that? Was that an S. Holden Goldfield? I expect better out of you, sir. Um, today I'm going to talk about true love and whether I believe in it, I guess. Um, I don't, to summarize. Um, uh, at least not as it's imagined, but, or as it's usually imagined. The whole, like, idea of the one who, uh, you know, like, comes into your life and makes it. Oh, that's a tackle from behind! How did he get the ball? The one who, like, comes into your life and makes it so much better and, like, is your soulmate, and then you uh, just sort of live happily ever after. The whole living happily ever after idea Im I imagines, as so much of our like, I, as so much of our like culture does about um, romance, that the uh, the goal is to find the person and then um, just sort of like run out the clock on your life. But like that, the real like adventure and meaning is in like finding the person you know and then like once you once you have them uh, and it is usually seen as some kind of acquisition generally the male acquiring the lady um, then you just uh, like go and continue on being in true love indefinitely well yeah I mean I don't I don't buy that at all like I and I I, I don't really buy the notion that there's just the one person out there and that your your job is to like find them because uh, you know, there are billions of people on this earth, and um, we are only going to meet... Oh! oh, oh, oh. I mean, how did you miss it? We're only going to meet a small fraction of Aldershot Town, by the way, tied 1-1 with Manchester United. That is exciting. I mean, let's hope for... Let's hope for... The, oh, what a great ball! Oh! No! Jesus, Angel! Oh. So the whole, like, the whole, like, idea of the one implies that, like, you know, there is just the one person for you. But you know in advance that this just the one person is going to be drawn from the incredibly small pool of people you meet who are reasonably close to you. And, like, it would be easy for me, for instance, to read the, the way that I met Sarah and we fell in love, to, to read that as being fate. But if you're going to read that as being fate, then you run into all kinds of uh, very, oh, 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 very complicated theological uh, and um, uh, uh, questions about why, if that was fated, why are, are so many other terrible things apparently fated as well? And it, it turns out to be really difficult to deal with those questions. So, yeah, I don't really, I, I just generally don't, oh, it's got to be. And somehow it isn't. Have you noticed I say it's got to be? Uh, so often when I cross it into the box, and then it often isn't when I say, oh, D. McGoldrelocks, far too aggressive. Leroy Williamson, by the way, is having a nice game, which is, um, which is an example of redundancy, because if L Leroy Williamson is on the pitch, he's always having a nice game. That guy, he just has so much passion for the Swoodley Poopers. Um, so I, I, I don't, you know, I, what I believe is that, um, uh, is that you, 
people can and, and often do have love that lasts their entire lives and, and relationships that are extremely um, meaningful to them and that, and that you know, really are, are ro- romantic relationships that are at the center of their lives. I also believe there are lots of people who have very fulfilling lives that don't have romantic relationships at the center of them um, or certainly not, not one romantic relationship that lasts all throughout life and, you know, is, is completely monogamous or whatever. So I don't think that there's just the one way to be happy. And I don't think that it's got, I mean, you just, Jesus Angel, you've got to finish or, what? What is that? What is it? Explain it to me. Explain to me your thought process there. No, it's disappointing. We're better than this, this win in time, Sweetly Poopers. Um, so I just, I, 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 I find that, and I also think it's a little bit, it's, it's problematic, oh no. It's problematic from the, the whole idea is problematic. Um, uh, from the perspective of, like, once you get in the relationship that is supposed to be your soulmate relationship, if you if you see it as a soulmate thing or as a true love thing, then you may think that you don't have to work or that there shouldn't be hard times or that there shouldn't be periods of time where your relationship, you know, isn't easy or fun or... This is this is the one that... No, well, that one was okay. I mean, I, don't, I wish it had gone better. The one that bothers me, this one. That. What was that? Like, why don't I try to tap it into the goal? No, Jesus Angel. You put your foot into the ball and you do it hard. Um, right. So, um, and, and the truth is that all, all romantic relationships, um, all marriages are going to feature, you know, difficulty and struggle and uh, times when it's, you know, not easy and, and that it requires work. And it's a lot easier to do that work if you understand that that's like okay and healthy and not that it's a sign of some failure of fate or that like maybe this wasn't the one after all or maybe this isn't my true love and now I have to go like try to find my true love. I, I, I think all of that stuff is just um, super, super unhealthy and kind of like d- ends up being sort of destructive to the well-being of, of like the overall social order. So um, I understand the impulse to like imagine soulmates and stuff but uh you know marriage and family life and um oh go go you just got to pick up the ball and go um are a lot more are a lot more complicated than that and i think like when we try to essentialize it we end up kind of doing the whole institution of marriage a big disservice because it implies all kinds of things that just aren't true like that um you know like marriage isn't that was terrible that was terrible, Dean with Goldilocks. Marriage, oh, they have a ginger on their team. That's why they're so successful. I worked really hard to acquire a ginger in the transfer window. Actually, it's that guy. That's the guy. B. Watson. He turned me down. I offered $3 million for him and a very nice pay raise, and he was like, no, thank you. I think I'll stay with Wigan. Really, B. Watson? Oh, he's such an attractive ginger, too. It's very frustrating. Makes me tackle. All right, we need to, we need to make, I mean, something... Something needs to needs to change here because we need to obviously we need to beat Wigan. I mean that goes without saying. I mean none of the boys are tired, but I think I am going to take out D McGold. I'm going to leave on Jesus Angel because when you need a miracle, you want to have Jesus Angel on the pitch. But I and I'm going to bring on um, who else do we have? Maybe French the Lana. Um, maybe I'll bring him on for beef stock. I still I like the way Leroy Williamson's playing, so I don't want to take him out. But I am going to also bring on. Mm, no, that's it for now. Maybe I'll bring on Basanta Claus toward the end if we if we need to shore up a lead. But right now, I think I think this game needs a little bit of John Green. There's our we've got a ginger. It's something, but I mean that that B Watson is just it's fantastic. Just a big puff of ginger. Um, so. Oh, that is not a foul! Come on! I mean, for the oh no, what? Where? Hey, defense! Yeah, <laughs> Ginger Rampage. Ginger Rampage was like, oh, we don't have any defenders. That's fine. I'll be all of the defenders. Um, I, 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 I don't think that. So in the end, I think what you have to think, what you have, the way you have to imagine it is not like I'm trying to find my one true love, um, but instead, like I'm trying to lead a fulfilling life and part of a fulfilling life for me may or may not be a romantic relationship that romantic relationship may or may not end in marriage and if it does i understand that that marriage is going to be like the work of a lifetime and like that that's to me the only way 
to uh, to 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 get through it. Um, that said, like I mean, I, that sounds very like unromantic and 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 you know unsentimental, and I I, I understand that, and I, I can I totally get it. Like I totally get how you know like we all want to have this this image of. Uh, you know, there's something very fulfilling about the idea of soulmates and that, like, everything, you know, everything happens for a reason and, like, you're brought together by serendipity and then you just you just have to, like, you know, like, honor the serendipity in order to stay together forever. But, like, that's just not, you know, the truth is, like, really, the the the, the, the I feel like the love I have um, in my family now is much deeper than it was... You know, when I was in college, even though that those relationships were definitely, you know, like like the highs were much higher and the lows were much lower, kind of thing. That's a tackle inside the box, and it was clearly a foul. Um, but there's just there's a there's a, it, it may not be like sentimental and romantic and the kind of stuff that people make movies about, but there is a a depth and seriousness to um, to a, a, a romantic relationship. Or, or a marriage like when it is you know many years on that you just can't have um in the early days nice pass from Leroy Williamson he's always on the ball and he's always playing it smart and we cannot possibly we can't go to extra time against Wigan we just we can't so we need to we have we need to have a standard Swindon Town Swoodley Pooper 90th minute miracle goal S. Holden Goldfield he had the right idea he was like I'm going to go down and I'm going to do the standard Swoodley Pooper cross into the box headed by other John Green celebrate possibly doing one of the bird dances but it was all for nothing as so much as so much that we fight for in this world is yes go that way that sounds fine to me yes now steal it yes yes oh no <laughs> So many times, Jesus Angel has been alone on goal, and so many times he has not scored. Leroy Williamson, lead no. Ah, come on, Swoodley Poopers. Yes, 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 yes. I like everything that you've done. Yes, and then cut back. No, he was tackled at the. It's a. It's a penalty. Oh, we can't go to extra time. It makes me nervous. Extra time makes me super nervous. B. Watson! Why do you keep showing me his face? Oh, Jesus Angel, you just you needed to finish. All right, we've got, I think we've got one substitution left. What? That's it? Oh, that means I have to play Wigan again? Oi, Gavay, thanks for watching. Best wishes.